Hi guys, are you live? Can you tell me? Let me know. Brittany, stand on the corner of the car here. Yeah, just see if you can back up. Yeah, right there. All right, guys, we've got a lot happening. This is the team from Kingston. And they've come down with, believe it or not, 14 puppies and two adults. And that's what came down in these cars this morning. This is the wall right here. I don't know that I'm going to get my car past that. Good bit of driving. Just go down a bit and then so I can get my car out. All right, so this is it, guys. This is it. Let's see how did... How was the drive, girls? Yeah? <laughs> We posted that we needed a volunteer to help us take down dogs and he volunteered. Bless your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you tag yourself on the video, all right? Okay, so who got stuck with all the puppies? Oh, that was mean. You don't want him to come back again. So we took the two adults and gave him the... Oh, my God. See how mean these girls are? This poor guy. Mind the poo. Sorry, guys. Oh god, you poor soul. So we've got like seven. Oh good lord, look at this. Oh god, you had the shitty ones as well. Alright, mind the, mind the poo. Right guys, we need to empty these and put them into the puppy pen up there. Do you want to move the car? Would it be closer? Just put the car behind mine. Just while they empty it and then move it back because I have to go out. Sorry, we've got, you can actually follow me and see the new um, location if yes. you want. The new vet clinic. That's where I'm heading now. I'm still taking TV and Yes, if you don't mind. No, no, I love TV. I love her so much. All right, let's get. Well, just be warned. If she doesn't see you coming, she'll bite you with her one tooth. <laughs> All right, guys, all hands on deck. So there's to, there's Tyson up there, the meanest little dog in the West. You haven't met Flip yet? All right, let's go and meet Flip. You guys are in charge of emptying these, all right? No, you're all right. Come and meet somebody special. Do you remember Mona? That's Mona. She's still not got, just watch where you're walking, please, everybody. Flip, I've got some peeps. Flip, we got peeps. Flip, we got peeps. Peeps to meet. Oh, go up there. Go up there so she doesn't slide down. Oh no, she's coming down. Alright, that's because the gate wasn't closed. <laughs> this is our flip flop. Isn't she great? You can do it. Go on, flip, go on, flip. Go on, flip, over the hill. Woo! Nothing stops her. And there's Dave behind you and Angela. And Phoebe. That's her house down there. You can see her house. Right, let's, I'm going to go back and help with the puppies, all right? But that's Flip. But the Oasis. But let's... <sighs> that's me. Do you remember Mona? That's Mona.
And just wipe out those crates so that they can go back, all right? Huh? I'm just going to wash them. Brilliant. Well, you can all wash one. There's loads of puppies. You see that? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Make sure they've got fresh water and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right, so while Anne is washing them out, you guys can continue emptying. If there's more puppies, there's another crate, isn't there? Yeah, and there's two more crates in the other car. I think. Okay, the, yeah, those are the adults. So they're going to go into the front pen. There's no more? Just, my love, just pick up that puppy for me. Pick him up and just reassure him. Let him know that everything's okay. Show him the water for the insect and They like your fish. <laughs> There you go. Just let them know that this is okay. This has been very scary for them because they've come all the way from Kingston and they're like, what is going on? He's drinking. Yes, Sharon, I'm at the house. This is my amazing team. We've got a beautiful young volunteer here who's been working really, really hard, dear of her. You might have to steal her from wherever she's supposed to be going. Give them a wipe out so that they're nice and clean. Dawn's on it. You in here ready for us to go and see Andrew Todd at our new location. Actually guys, if you want to stay on, you'll see us at our new location. No, Chev isn't here, Sharon. He's gone up to the farm. Oh, well done. It smells horrible. I know. Could you imagine what that poor guy has driven down with? Oh, <gasps> oh, shit. We need to clean that out as well. Poor sod. All right, that's that. Is his car off? I wonder if he'll let me reverse it. Are the keys in it? No. Look at these guys go. So remember, we got to let these puppies know that everything's going to be just fine, all right? all right? So look, everybody's very thirsty after their drive. See that? Come on, guys. See, so these are, have all come from Kingston. They What's the time? Drive from Kingston? They've driven all the way from Kingston. So this is... Um, they're like, oh, you survived. Well done, mate. I didn't think I'd see you again. Is that all of them? No, one knows. there are two more. Two more. Three. Come on, Don, stick Three. your hand in there. I didn't get my gloves at me. Oh, come on, you can wash hands. <laughs> You're all right. Don is actually amazing with all the dogs. Is that everybody? One more. One more, okay. Some beautiful puppies here. Look at this. Look at some of the big brindle ones. Yeah. That's nice. So this is where they're going to be. They've got shelter. They've got a little dog house over there. They've got the cats to keep them company. And then we've got Girlie in there. Right, Shh. stay. Good babies. You're all right. You're all right. You'll get some food now. Just cool out. Well done. Thank you, my sweetheart. Oh. We're going to get some wet wipes to wipe out your car, my love, all right? Um, we're just cleaning up these. I need you to... Hang on. We're going to get the... Where are the wet wipes? So now... We've got to get Papa, Eva. Where's, what have you done with the wet wipes, Eva? Eva, what have you done with the wet wipes? Has anybody seen wet wipes? Oh, God damn it, what have I done with my wet wipes? 
Have I lost my wet wipes? I've lost my wet wipes. Oh, found my hat. Um, Don, find the wet wipes. Uh huh. Yeah, more, the rest of the car. Well done. Your car will never be the same, but now you can say you're an animal angel. All right, guys, how are you feeling strong wise? Good. Right, can I beg you to help us move the two big ones? Yes, yes. They're going to go in here. <laughs> Brittany's such a princess, I tell you. It's good job she makes nice bikinis. She makes very good bikinis. All right, so now we've got Papa and Queenie. You might remember Papa was that, oh my God, incredibly mange ridden dog that was sort of shut down from um, Maypen. Maypen, that's right. What's in here? Oh, this is dog food. What? Yeah. This is all donated. What is this donated by by True by Tina? I'm not even sure. Dr. Matnab sent them. Oh my God! How fantastic! All right, you want to? Can you carry her? Can somebody carry her, or do you want to just take the crate out? Are they both in there? Yes. All right, carry the crate if you don't mind. <laughs> I can do the other half if you. All right, let's. Open that door for me, my love. Sorry, I'm very bossy. <laughs> and then just give it a push. See that? Oh, look, she's got jump leads and everything in there. Well done. Probably should I take these off first? Yeah, okay. This is our true dog food. Thank you very much. Oh, this is very, very kind. Wow. That's amazing. You know that Tina donated um, um, a bag of um, the, the, the calf feeder for Chev? Yep. Mind yourself, please, Dion, because there's shit right behind you. <laughs> right behind you. Careful with this. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. You have. Yeah, man, strong so people. This is. Are you. Dion's stronger than anything. Just you watch and see. She's like gym body, yeah. Gym body, look at that. She's fit as hell. This um, is. Um, hold on. No, no, I'm not no. Damn heavy. So tell me, can they come out here? Hang on. Wait for it. We got our other little strong man here. Less of the little I'm says Don. Man. My two boys. Come on, boys. Look at this. This is amazing. This is our pomegranate tree. We're very natural here, as you can tell. That's as far as it opens, I'm sorry. But if you turn it around, Don knows what those are drilled. Look at this, see? Attack of the pomegranate. Come on, boys. Give it back. No, but be careful, oh, Don. If you get Queenie out, then find them a home together they're so loving if queenie gets out then you're okay the with other one is gonna, they so yeah there you go in, they're inseparable i don't know how you're going to separate them they oh god no that was so papa much. he got out wow well, well done papa and queenie love each other. oh look don thank you and then anne's got some special towels for them and then bumble and bling are here supervising so that's Queenie. She's like, hello. They'll soon be out. Don't worry, guys. They'll soon come out with everybody. Just let them sniff everybody and get to know everybody. Papa's having a meltdown. Yeah, he's not the most sociable. Hi, Queen. Oh, but he's letting Anne stroke him. Well done, Anne. Yeah, I touched him. A friend, when he let me touch him. Well, that's, that's all pets. They've been amazing. Queenie girl. Hi, Queen. So we've got some of Queenie's puppies as well. Is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't know who is who or what is what, but it's fine. And then this gorgeous young lady is going to make sure that everybody's okay. They're getting friendly. 
they were just way. shocked, you know, because they were just like one minute they're at home. I know which one our queen is for food. And then it's, they're all spayed and neutered. So these guys are all ready for homes. Whew. Look, they're like, whoa, this is fun. These light ones are from Charlene. Right. And then the brown ones are clean, and the brindle ones are from so um, Windward Road. Okay. Well, they're so happy. <laughs> no, but they're so happy. Yeah. Because we had to cover the fish pond oh. because they <laughs> go swimming it. in it and they drink it and it makes them cough because there's fish in it. Yeah. So. <laughs> So oh, check yeah. out these heroes, guys. Look, there you go. There's our Brit. Woo! <laughs> Dion. Hi. Gavin. 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 Yep. Sorry. Don. Charlie. 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 Can I call you Charlie? Yeah. Okay, Charlie. That's cool. So we got the team here and Anne, who have. And Tammy. And Tammy. Yes, yes, yes. So we're here and then we're about to go up to the new location. You might need to fill that water back up again in a bit, all right? And then they... And look at her now. So show me the picture again. So that was her. Then go in and have a look. You've got a shitty car already, so you're all right. You may as well get a bit shittier. And that's her now. Hi, good girl. Hi, sweet girl. What's she smiling? She's like, yeah, you like my joint? You like my new place? No, she's old. She's got everything wrong with her, but she's happy and hey, they're all sharing stories of Kingston now. Queenie and Papa are talking to a good girl about Kingston. They're swapping stories. And we're gonna go to the new location. You guys ready to go to the new yes. location? So when you get your new home, Dion, we're gonna give her to you as a present. I know. All right. <laughs> so you guys can feed them for me. Oh, and make sure. Um, Ronnie. Yes. Tammy, I'm not gonna have twenty dogs though. <laughs> we'll I'm not see. Plan. We'll <laughs> see. No, he's fine. No, he thinks you. It's all right, Ron's. <laughs> yeah, they they think you're a bit afraid. It's all right, Ron. You say, look, I see. met you. Hi, Bugo. It says, did you know me from my previous life? <laughs> my previous life. Hi, Ron. When we found this dog, he was skin black, no fur at all. It was at that car park, you remember? In um, our little material. Yes. All right. Okay, guys, you're going to need to back out and let me go. And then you can all follow me to the new location, which is 10 minutes down the road. Okay. You saw the gang, didn't you? Nobody else you want to see? Everybody's. I oh! I see Flip more than anyone else. <laughs> Do you want to take. Are you coming back here? Oh, you want to take yeah. um, Phoebe and Jab now? Yeah, my yeah, so let's just see them Come in and get them. So this is Julie, who looks after our horses. Inside. Get in. Is that everybody, all the puppies? Puppies are inside. See, people don't close gates. It's infuriating. There was a freaking gate in the man. Right. That's the Bojangles. Right, who's coming up to get Jab and... Okay. That's Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Oh, right, I'm at you. Hey, who had Diva? Oh, no, that was Rachel. Yeah, they can go to my bathroom, it's fine. Just go on up to mine. Sorry. So remember the puppy with all the hair that we rescued from Kingston that was tied up to a fence, tied up to a gate? No? Okay. Right, who wants to pee? Me. Okay. There's the pee. Hey! Sparkle. 
So sparkles. Yes, oh, big oh big. sparkles, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, sparkles. So go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna Where's get because I can't leave Andrew waiting. That's not Jab over here. Where is Jab? In here. Jab's in there, okay. Well who's gonna take Jab? They travel fine. Everybody travels fine of my gang, so you don't have to worry about putting them in a crate. Okay. Hi, Jab Jab. She's not in my too. No, but if she doesn't see you coming, she'll bite. She's only got one tooth. Okay. But you just have to be like, Jabby, Jabby, Jabby! Her fur's green, but mine. Your mine's pretty, eh? Mm-hmm. Dave. Hi, Dave. I said I did, huh? No man, he's an idiot. He's a plonker, aren't you, Davey? That's Brittany. That's Brittany. You don't That's remember Brit. me? And you should remember Dion, because she's the one that drove all the way to Timbuktu to get you. Jab and Phoebe, and you don't mind taking them back to Sebastian? Thank you. That's a big help for us. Jab is just over, just over it here. It's too much for her. As you can tell, that's why she's going in my wardrobe. Uh, the gentleman, the young boy that picked her up called her Jab. And my friend Trina calls her Jug. She can never remember. Jab, bite me, if you bite me, I'll bite you back. <laughs> you smell the doggies? You smell the doggies? He's not gonna bite you. If I touch him, he's like, no. You sure? Yep. I'm afraid of him, you know? No, man, just try it. There baby, baby. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm so odd. <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> you showing me your teeth? Dave. Hey boy. But when he's, he's so sniffing handsome. up next to you like that, he's he's fine. Yeah. He's so handsome. Dave, if you ever remember what you did look. How are the fa and Brittany is making us face masks, guys. And I was calling you the other day, I was going to ask if you want them to be all black or if they can be like various prints and stuff. Various prints is fine. Uh, I think that's whatever's easier for you. Yeah. And Dion is sorry. the young lady who actually drove to Timbuktu oh, okay. to get Dave. Oh, you want it? Yeah. And Dave is so face there, rude. Yes. <laughs> hey, hello. Dave, this is a girl's room. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that's that little puppy you picked up? Can't believe You're remembering that box? But you fell in love with um, Dave the moment you saw him. The moment I yeah. saw him. You little sod, aren't you? You mummy's boy, you are. Yes, you are. You <laughs> are mummy's boy. But he's the baddest of the bad. Don't buy me, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what he's going to do because I never no, know no. exactly what he's going to do. I'm afraid. Angela won't bite though, right? No, Angela, Angela won't bite. She just looks hard. She has the meanest look. She does. Angela, why do you have to look at me so aggressively? Angela! What's the problem, Angela? Where are you, you mad? You go touch her. Just touch Where her. Why are you mad? Why Good do you girl. Mad, no, that was at Dave, not at you. <laughs> she doesn't like Dave? No, she just she's just the boss. <laughs> she's the queen. All right. Right, who wants a jab ready, and who ready, ready. wants a Phoebe? Oh, I you Phoebe. want Phoebe. Phoebe's nobody wants her. Hi Phoebes. Sebastian, Phoebe is on her way Yay, to you. Phoebes. Dion, you've got a jab, alright? Oh, where's Jab gone? Come as far back as she can get. Come on, Jabby. 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 Hi, Jab. Hi, baby. Hi. You see me coming? See me here? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're nice, you girl. Yeah. Well, you're so quiet. <laughs> you ready? I love Dave. I love it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you have to speak to Sebastian about that because that's Sebastian his baby. Well, and Megan, so you might have a fight on your hands because Meggie's Hi. like a. Hi. That's Chiquita. Just close the door for me. Where's Huh? Evil. She's in my car waiting to go. Okay. She's like. Where's Mr. Gray? He's in Kingston. Oh. Oh, you didn't No, he's a legend. And here's Dr. Knight! Hi! 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 Alright, you ready? 
All right, let's go. Let me give you a jab. There's Mona. Here come the superstars. Do do do. It's all right, they won't. That's just bling. Who's driving? Okay, so you're, she sits on your lap, she'll be fine. Dion, do you want her on your lap or do you want her in the back seat? Okay. Nothing else. Oh, this is. Are you? Uh, what's happening with that young man? Is he coming with us? Is he driving the red car? Oh. You can come with me in the car if you want, my love. Which way? Which direction is it? That so way. We have to pass back here. Yeah. No, you don't have to pass back here. Or no, drive in your car because we're not gonna come back this way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If that makes any sense, we're not. You're on your way back to Kingston then. Oh, it's coming. Oh, okay, okay. We're still on live. Yeah. I know. I know, but I want to see Girlie. Where's she? Girlie's the one that you want to. Oh, up at the farm. She's up at the way. So I'll see her. No. No, I want to see her. Well, she's the other direction. She's like half an hour in that direction. Oh, like I really want to see Girlie. Well, come back and see her. Yeah, yeah. Come. Come, Jab. All right, so there's Jab and... Or send me pics. I, I'll get yes. them to do it. I promise. Like, you'll come up and see yes, her, but I she's really miles away. Her. All right, come up and do a hike. Why don't the two of you come back and do a and hike? And you did the best thing. You did. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no <but>. apologies. <laughs> Inside. Sorry guys, let's get Chiquita inside. Here we go. Woohoo! Right. Alrighty guys, you ready? We're going to the new location. Do do do! God, I'm a sweaty mess. I'm ready. Good girl, Eva. Hmm. How am I going to get out of here now? This car park is not meant for a lot of cars. Good girl, Eva. Just go straight down and I'll pass you at the bottom. I'm really hoping I can save this video so that everybody can see it and come back. And I just want to state again how the Haven is so many people who make this happen, you know? Don't ever think, oh, it's just Tammy, because it isn't. There's friggin' loads of people from all over all over Jamaica and they're doing this out of a love of love of animals you know these girls and gentlemen Gavin have driven down from Kingston which is about what is it Eva three and a half four hours drive and um, come on um, it's a um, 
it's a Tuesday and they've done this because they want to help these animals and um, that's pretty incredible and then you've got to remember the whole team are all pets Dr. Mac who is truly an absolute incredible veterinarian um, all the staff at all pets really really care for the animals and you can see how oh, for fuck's sake. Eva stop it and you can see how um, how much people care by the condition of the dogs you know you can see just how happy the what do you expect really okay sorry it's a bit lopsided guys Okay, so a bit of Jamaica, a bit of sea to your left. Oh, God, thank God I looked up then. Um, we're actually heading to where the new clinic is gonna be. I know some of you have seen it already. Um, it's in a very busy area. It is, it is just incredible. I mean, we're, we couldn't do it without Lupo without the Todd brothers, um, Billy, I don't know. It's, it's just amazing that it's all come together for us to be able to have this clinic. And I don't know if you saw the post this morning, but you know, to be able to offer this to the persons who can't afford it, to be able to have a facility that we can use for education, to be able to, um, to help the animals, you know? I mean, in a lot of cases, like downtown Montego Bay, there is absolutely nobody, nobody who helps those animals, nothing. And, you know, people walk past and they see it. And, you know, to get used to seeing an animal suffering, you see a dog dying, you see a dog run over, you see a cat squashed, to just glance at it and get into the mindset because you see it so often, and believe it's acceptable. It's wrong. It's not right. You know, we, we need to set an example where we can empower people to make a difference, to make a change. And if you think for one minute that being able to help a dog off a street in a busy area where hundreds of people walk past it, if you think being able to help that animal isn't going to have a reaction or an impact on the people around it, you're very mistaken. People will see you pick up the animal. They'll ask you, what are you doing with that animal? Oh, we're gonna take it to get it fixed, okay? They go home, they speak to their spouse, they speak to their neighbors, they say, you never guess what I saw today. I saw the weirdest thing. This one woman or this young man stopped and picked up the dog. You remember the little brown scabby dog with a mange and everything and he got licked by a car on the side of the road and they were just leaving him in a ditch to die. Remember that dog? Well, these people came and picked up this dog and this dog is gonna get help now. That's pretty good. So you see where all this goes? This all goes towards improving this amazing country that we live in. It goes towards giving everybody a different mindset, showing them that, you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to see the suffering and not feel that you can do anything about it. You need to be able to do something. And, and I wish with all my heart that we were located all over the island. And I wish that we had more and more people and more and more clinics and more and more money to be able to, to, to never have to see this suffering. But one step at a time, we have a huge amount of people already right here in Jamaica who are making tremendous differences to the lives of animals, towards educating, towards setting an example. And these are amazing people and they're regular people, just like you and me. Some of them are doctors, oh, bollocks. Some of them are scientists or pharmacists or something like this, but 90% of them are just regular, regular, normal people. And it's amazing. So, um, those regular people, us lot, 
making a difference. And that is, as we say in England, that is the dog's bollocks. That's brilliant. Absolutely perfect. And more and more people do it. And I hate, I hate when people turn around to me and say, oh, Jamaica's so cruel and the people are so ignorant and they don't know what this and they don't know what that and the rest of it. You know, until you set an example or you educate or you show somebody a different way, things will not change. But don't label an entire country or entire people with that because of maybe one example or whatever it's it's wrong and we do it we all do it I do it you know I know I do it but all of these same people are coming together now to make a difference so um, I haven't quite figured out how we're going to fund the running of the clinic yet um, but I'm hopeful <laughs> I'm hopeful that um, it will fund itself it has to because it's a great thing nobody's making any money out of it I promise you it is just <sighs> we're back sorry guys so Mr. Todd rang me because he's waiting for me at this new surgery because remember it's them that are actually renting this area for us which means that we get to have a clinic so the clinic is is completely it's going to be subsidized it's not going to be um oh you naughty little red car oh you naughty silver car you see that on a red Never would I do something like that. So we got the gang behind us. So the new clinic is, if anybody is familiar with Montego Bay, to your right, we have the Xerox place. I think it's Xerox or whatever it is. Oh, Vista Print. I lied, I lied. Vista Print. And then in front of us, we have downtown Mo Bay. And we're gonna take a quick little left. And can we go? Can we go? Yeah, man, I'm gonna go. Um, and then right here, formerly known as the Gallery of West Indian Art. Round the back. is going to be our clinic. So let me introduce you to the um, the gentleman that's funding this. this is this the Prime Minister? Huh? This is intimidating. It, it is, is the isn't Prime it? Has the Prime Minister, yes. Ooh. So this is Mr. Todd, Andrew. And his gorgeous daughter, Kylie. Kylie, who is there. It's because of these this family that we're actually being able to get this building so that we're gonna be able to do our clinic. So look, this is the start. And the girls have come to see it. So, all right guys, we will catch you later. Say thank you to Mr. Todd. There you go. All right guys. We live streaming 